What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just got kind of a quick video for you today of how this big uh, single S468 comes into Boost. Um, I think I'll do a comparison video of it related to the compounds that I used to have later on, but for those that are wondering about a big single and like how big of a big single to go with and uh, what fueling upgrades I have to go with this one to make it work better, um, things that I don't have that could make it work even better than it does. Uh, just kind of going over that and um, just some quick driving clips of it coming into boost, whether you're in a low gear or an overdrive or a tow haul or going up a hill, hauling something, uh, things like that. So uh, it's a single S468, uh, billet S468, and I have a fast 150 and power flow 750 injection pump from uh, fleece which is a 10 millimeter pump and extra g 60 percent injectors so uh, i works great for the setup that i have with it and i love it i daily drive this truck during the summer i try not to during the winter at least when it's snowing like it is right now as you can see so this is probably the last time i'll drive it for a little while but i had to make this video for y'all um so um, here's some clips of me driving and I hope y'all like it. All right guys, you can see how it comes into boost for a really low overdrive right now. It's not making much still go it doesn't bog down on itself it just takes a while to come into boost all right guys you can see we got a really big hill coming up here so we're at the low end of overdrive sorry for the bumps um, I'm not towing anything so I could lug it up this hill but see it's not gonna I mean it'll come into boost it'll maintain speed just fine but if you're ever towing something and you just hit it in tow haul it'll downshift set up loose enough you're still not gonna have a problem with it coming into boost but with the converter locks it, it, these things hold on to gear for so long so you pretty much have to floor it to get it to downshift that's why I said if you put it in tow haul it works out a lot better because see uh, it'll just hold on to this gear I mean, if it's completely floored, it'll downshift, but that's about the only time that it'll do that. I right, guess we're gonna get it to downshift here, but I'm gonna have to floor it. Let's see, yeah. It's snowing just above freezing right now, so the roads are gonna start to get iced up, but you can see just no traction. So you're better off to hit the little tow haul button right here and just kind of ease into the throttle and it'll downshift itself. Out here and get her to come into boost. I'll show you, it's really no problem from a really slow speed either. As I said before, no traction, but there's really not that much lag with this 468. Now, granted, with the fueling setup, it helps, but. You know, other than being in that overdrive, if you're hauling something really heavy, this is a really good daily driver. All right, guys, so we're back home. I had to stop by the car wash real quick and spray all the sand and the salt and the bad stuff off of the truck and then find non-salted roads to get home uh, to park it. So 
Uh, I was able to do that successfully, so there's no salt on the truck, and we got on there and immediately washed off. Uh, like I said, the truck's gonna be sitting for a while now, but I hope you all like this up upload. Please drop in the comments what else you wanna see, if you have any questions about the setup I have, or uh, why I chose what I did, um, please feel free to drop a comment, let me know, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for more, and hit that bell so you know when I uh, upload videos. I hope you have a blessed day, and thanks for watching.